All right, so I'm here with Jeff and Brandon from uh, Yukon Blonde, a Kelowna band. First things first, how does it feel to be back in Kelowna? Yeah, it's great. Seeing old friends. It's good times, good weather. <laughs> How about you, Jeff? Yeah, it's awesome. My family's here. The weather's great. It's, it's awesome. Cool. Um, now, you guys started out as Alpha Baby all those years ago in 2005. Yeah. Uh, and then you switched your name, obviously, to Yukon Blonde. I'm wondering, what was the inspiration uh, behind Yukon Blonde? Uh, it was just kind of a change of pace. We uh, yeah, had some member change-ups and crashed our van at that <laughs> time and just kind of needed a reboot. So I think with a fresh name, fresh start, fresh, song. fresh songs. Yeah. I think it's gone well for you guys, it's fair to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'd recommend it to anybody who's <laughs> starting to feel like their band's starting to kind of, I don't know, get less fun, you know? For sure, for sure. Reboot's a good thing. Well, uh, we've got Fields of Green playing right now. Uh, you probably hear him in the background on this interview. And uh, they're obviously a Kelowna band. Yeah. Do you guys have any advice for bands in Kelowna that are looking to kind of break out and uh, reach a wider audience? These guys are amazing. I don't feel like I could give them advice. I mean, <laughs> like they're... They're super it's funny though because I was talking to Kyle yesterday and I was just like, man, when are you moving to Vancouver? <laughs> you, come on, you gotta, you gotta get down here. But I, I think they're doing a great thing here, you know, and it's good to stay established in Kelowna too and, and branch out and use that as their, you know, their hometown. I, no problem with that. Well, you know, it's sort of kind of the natural progression for bands from Kelowna to move to Vancouver, but it sort of feels right now at the minute from within the scene that we're just waiting for something to kind of light it and it's going to take off. It feels like there's a lot happening here. Uh, from the outside, do you see that or do you not really feel that from looking in from Vancouver? Uh, <laughs> sorry, I kind of missed that one, man. <laughs> it's all good. It's all kind of a loaded question, I no, guess. No, I just, I was facing. <laughs> it's all good. Um, maybe we'll switch to... Um, <laughs> Did you get it? You I thought you can, totally thought that I was gonna answer it, eh? And you just, just I'll get bring it around. I can ask it again, and we'll pitch it to you if you want, Jeff. Okay. Uh, no, I, I I knew you. I knew you were saying. You were saying that. I, I mean, I think you were saying this. This Kelowna look like it's gonna take off. Does the yeah, scene look like it's gonna happen? Yeah. I always felt like that when we were here, you know. And it wasn't. Uh, I don't know. Everybody always thinks that you know we kind of moved because we weren't really doing anything here. And that's that's not really the case. We kind of moved to sort of unify. Like everybody started getting in, like everybody kind of gets so focused on their jobs that if we kind of moved and made this effort once we became Yukon Blonde that we'd kind of be almost sort of stranded in an island moving to a, it's not, it's not a strange place now, but at the time it was kind of weird. And, and I kind of felt like we'd be like that much more committed, you know? It, it wasn't like your jobs don't take priority. Like we moved here to do a thing and, and, uh, and that's why we did it. So, I mean, I've, I feel like Kelowna's always had a really good thing going on. And uh, I mean, now with everything going on with, with Kaloha and, and, and all these festivals that are coming back into Kelowna, it's a good thing, yeah. For sure, I mean, Kaloha's amazing. Uh, when you guys got lined up for the bill, uh, who was you most excited to play with? Who were you like, yes, there, we're going to share the stage with them? Was there anyone in particular? Right, well, I'm excited to see MGMT tomorrow. That'll be, that's pretty great. Golden Youth, those good friends of ours, that's exciting. Yeah, there's a lot of good bands. <laughs> what about you, Jeff? Yeah, MGMT, I'm so pumped on. Uh, Mute Math blew my mind. Like, I didn't really know what to expect, and they were really good. And then there's all our friends from Vancouver, and I could I could sit here and talk for like half an hour, you know. Shad being one of the, I'm really excited to see Shad, just in like an hour and a half. I'm really excited for that. Cool. Um, Tiger Talk is your most recent record. Uh, you've done all sorts of crazy things, big tours. You're going back to Australia. Uh, I think I saw on Facebook there. Um, so what's next for you guys? Uh, well, we need to do a record. So, you know, I mean, we're kind of at the end of our album cycle now, and it's exciting to write new material, start playing new material, and yeah, just see where that goes over the next year. So. Sounds good. Now, um, for anyone out there who's not familiar with Yukon Blonde, is there one song in particular, Jeff, that just kind of sums you guys up that should be the first song anyone listens to? I like radio. It's always the one that I want to show people. Uh, radio or um, like Breathing Tigers or Six Dead Tigers. Those are, those are favorites of mine, too. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for your time, guys, and enjoy the rest of the festival. Right on.